Community Forum. I'm Heather Couch and I'm running for the fourth year term, the full term. And um, I am a school counselor and an educator. I got my BA from Mount St. Joseph University in music education and then got my master's at Xavier in school counseling just so we have a little bit background on me. And um, you know, most students in CPS, they can't vote and they need someone who is going to advocate for them because everyone deserves someone who is going to stick up for them. In 2007, I sat among 200 other high school students listening to a forum, a panel of city leaders discussing the issues in our city. And I remember <laughs> 10 years ago, just in its very preliminary idea stages. And we had the opportunity to ask questions and a common theme among my peers and my, my peers were CPS students and they felt that they were voiceless and powerless in their education and that teachers merely talked to the test and got them through. And that ignited a spark. And 10 years, that might not exactly be the same. Hope, you know, I hope it isn't. But that ignited a spark in me to want to be an advocate for my fellow peers and to get involved in education. And even then, I started going to board meetings, public school board meetings. So I, it's, it was a natural progression to end up in the spot where I am. I'm a first generation high school and college graduate, and my parents instilled in me the love of learning and the value of education. As a school counselor, I know that each student has their own unique talents, gifts, and abilities, and we have to be able to equip them with the resources to either go into the world of work, college, or the military. And we have to meet them where they are. Every student comes into the school building with a different luggage, and we don't know what's in that luggage. Sometimes it's labeled ADHD, sometimes it's labeled ODD, and it's, sometimes it's labeled poverty, right? And we have to be able to meet their needs because if their basic needs are not getting met in the classroom, they're not gonna be able to perform. Well, rather, if they're not being met at home, they're not able to perform in the classroom. And we know this by statistical data and the research that's done in the mental health field. And um, trauma-informed care. We have, I'm a real big advocate for having a school climate that is trauma-informed. And with the number of students in CPS that are coming from backgrounds that are in poverty, there's trauma there. There's, that's trauma. So that's a, one of my main um, platforms is meeting the needs of the child where they are with it, through an equitable education. And it's crucial as a school district and community, we offer our students access to career technical and vocational education and internships in those fields. By pushing all of our students to go to college and foregoing vocational career technical education, we have saddled our students with more debt and fewer job opportunities. CPS's budget is larger than the entire city's, around $615 million. We have significant resources. But we have to spend them in a way that allows each child to reach all of his or her potential. Our children are the catalyst of our future. Their voices need to be heard and their needs must be met. I have an op-ed that came out today that talks about student voices and they are the generation of today. It's time that we stop telling them that they need to be seen and not heard because I've been told that as a teenager, not by my parents, thankfully, but I've been told that even as an adult, you need to sit down and wait your turn, get more experience, become more involved in your party, do this, do that. Well, I'm here to say that I don't need to, that my experience as I continue through this process, that gives it to me, and that I give to my students as well. They have a wealth of knowledge, and we're teaching them to be leaders in the schools, and this is how we do it. We do it by giving them a seat at the table and allowing them to have a vote at their local high school decision-making committees. And we give them a non-voting board member position as a representative. So we take it a step further. We hear what they say and we take it to heart. I'm Heather Couch and I'm Ryan for Cincinnati Public School Board and I look forward to having deeper discussions with every one of you and 